Well, hello, hello, hello. How are we doing today? Hey, this is Kirkland from Daily Momentum. Hey, I'm always bringing you them leadership tips, uh, distributing tips, entrepreneur tips. Hey, I just, I'm excited to always bring you knowledge that I have learned throughout my life of living, uh, me being an entrepreneur, and I just want to share some of the things of being a distributor to as well is that a lot of times um main thing that works in being a distributor and trying to be able to be a distributor is when you have a manufacturer that you have uh clash with or has pulled on your team to be able to help you to source product or to put product on the stores in this in the uh i mean put uh product on the shelves for the stores um, you will um, have inventory and that's the main thing that we need we need consistent inventory returning over and over again to be able once we are turning this, this inventory over quickly we are making a profit off of that a percentage profit up there you know it ranged from that one day I want to make a video about uh, percentages of some that give because some gives different others and also a lot of times, if you don't have hump, uh, help from a lot of the manufacturers to put stuff in stores like big box stores help or big chain stores, a lot of times you're on your own and you have to hit these mom and pop stores to grow that brand because they may not have a brand that's growing, but they need a distributor to help them grow that brand so they can be able to spend money to allow space to come in the stores so they can be able to uh, put product in that store. So what I want to go with you today uh, Is inventory about getting inventory a lot of times when we come into a Warehouse which you had to have a warehouse of some kind you can start big or small and being able to get a warehouse but the main thing is if you have to start in your garage or or some sheds in your garage and I have seen people do that fortunately or 10 by 10 just a rental storage um, you have to have someone bringing you this product or a lot of times you can go get the product but the main important thing is you have to make sure that you counting your product when you counting your product you have to make sure all these little things a lot of times when I am in my warehouse and I, I have grown as the years went by a lot of times they would come in and as you can see I have some product in now and a lot of times what they'll do is they will leave a paper right here and as we get this paper comes in on the product that we have we have to go through these papers and we have to look and count in each product as you can see got a little product I put most of it up but I just wanted to illustrate some of the product that I did get in and um, that I wanted to. As you can see in my warehouse, I do have some product that's already in place. And what I have to do is uh, put all this inventory in place where I have it located in my warehouse. But uh, as I can you have to have the sheet and you want to go through your sheet as you can see right now i got my sheet in my hand and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna count all of this product to make sure that it's all here because a lot of times if it's not here sometimes it's it's hard to really take accountability of all of this stuff that you do have because i have had times where i have got stuff on the truck and uh i count all my boxes in and then i come up with a chip missing a bag of chips two chips missing out of a box so it happens you know and we don't know how that goes about and I can't blame the truck drivers or where it come from and perhaps it could be so a lot of times you have to put in as there's gonna be some losses because there's always shoplifters everywhere you go I have had shoplifters online have shoplifters in stores uh, before I get my product there's shoplifters so you have to have that into your profit of knowing that there's going to be some 
lost profit in that because any if, if you get one bag missing every time you get or three bags out of each box missing it all adds up and guess what that's a loss so a lot of times it's hard to really prove all of that and sometimes some companies that you're getting from they will give you that credit for that you know uh, especially when they know that that's the kind of sort of stuff happens but a lot of times we will get these sheets and we will go down the line it's marking all the different things that was there and was not there and then they will give us credit so it's good to have a company starting out um which i did at first and that's how i fell but i had better margins uh for a company when i went by myself and i will bring that up in a little bit more detail in another video but right now i just want to talk about making sure that your product is all here in your warehouse so you can be able to uh count it all in and make sure that and that's some of the things that i wanted to talk about is being a distributor these are things that go on and that you have to do to make sure that you can make profit off of your things because if you don't count this stuff in and you're missing boxes and boxes of stuff guess what at the end of the the week it's going to pay for it and i want to just thank you guys for just taking time out to watch my videos i hope some of this stuff would help you out if you thinking about being a entrepreneur or a leader or just being a distributor in some kind because some of these tips can help you uh, along the way because I talk a lot about being consistent, persistent and continue following schedules of different kinds as being a leader because that's the only way that you can be able to be successful in your business is continue doing some of the things that I have uh, laid out and tips and tricks to help you along the way. So. Hey, this is Kirkland from Daily Momentum. Thank you all for joining. You all have a, a good day. Uh, let's keep pushing. Let's keep this momentum going. I hope all these videos will help you. And if you are, are interested in knowing that some of the other videos that I'm putting out, like, share, uh, subscribe to some of these videos. And so you can be able to see some of the videos that I am pushing and keep pushing out to you. Uh, so just drop me some comments and say, hey, talk about this, talk about this, and I will put it out there for you. So thank you all. You have a wonderful day. Remember, keep pushing, keep pushing. Let that daily momentum go. All right, bye-bye.